Hey guys, it's Sermat here, bringing you episode 1 of my new fight series, Super Fights. I don't know how long to keep the series going, but hey, I can try to bring as much episodes for you guys for your entertainment. Today we have the two most popular icons in Japan to see who really is better for the respective monster games. Can you guess two monster games? Well, yes, of course, guys, you got Pokemon. Wait, no, guys, not Digimon. No, guys, not Yu-Gi-Oh. No, guys, not Bakugan. No one really remembers that at all. No, guys, not Fossil Fighters. Oh my god, please walk yourself off, you guessed that. Ah, <sighs> it's Yokai Watch. These two mascots from their respective monster games will fight to the bitter end. Pikachu, the electric mouse from Pokemon, and Jibanyan, the fiery cat from Yokai Watch. I'm S.A. Met, and I will look at these two characters to see who will win a fight to the end. Also, pretty big side note right here. Um, I will be using composite characters for the two characters. Composite for, like, everything for the characters that are able to use. They are able to use pretty much everything besides the transformations. And, yeah, everything they have to this disposal. So, Ash's Pikachu. It's gonna be Ash's Pikachu. So that means anything that's canon to Ash's Pikachu, he will be able to use in the fight. Anything um, that is canon to um, the yokai friend Mac, Max's... Um I'm about to say Nate's Jibanyan will be able to use everything that has been shown in the manga, everything else, as long as it's Nate's Jibanyan, then it can be used. Also, what I meant by transformations is their cosplay forms. Pikachu is the quick-footed electric mouse from the Pokemon series. One day, Ash was late to get a starter from Professor Oak. Professor Oak ran out of starters, and Ash didn't have a Pokemon. Ash really wanted a Pokemon. He wanted to become a Pokemon Master. Well, Oak luckily had one more Pokemon left, and luckily... It was Pikachu, and fortunately the two had a rough start and didn't get along. But ever since then, they became great companions from there. But Ash is not here today, so let's stop talking about him and more about the Pikachu. Being small, Pikachu has horrible defense and is not physically the strongest Pokemon out there, but he greatly makes up for it with his ridiculous speed. He can move faster than the eye can see and can even outspeed certain legendaries and flying types. Yeah, that is pretty insane and has a very, very large arsenal like Thunder Shock and Electro Ball Spark, Thunder Wave, Nuzzle, Discharge, Thunder Bolt, Wild Charge, Volt Tackle, Thunder, Iron Tail, Quick Attack, Double Team, agility. But Pikachu doesn't shy away from his weaknesses though, like being very very light, very weak physically, and can barely lift up 2 or 5 pounds, and his speed is his main main strength, and his defense is really really poor. But for all those little faults he has, he is still legendary. Not a legendary Pokemon per se, but legendary to Ash. He has defeated legendary Pokemon, even not being a Raichu, not even being the fully evolved Raichu, and even hurts an Onix with an electric attack, which literally makes no sense. Onix is part ground type, and that's also one of his weaknesses as well. Electricity. Most of his attacks are electricity, but even then, he can still survive attacks from a champ, which can move mountains, shown in his Pokedex. He may be a small little mouse. But he is one powerful fighter. Jabanyan is the fiery cat from Yokai Watch. One day, Jabanyan was just a normal cat named Rudy and was owned by a little girl named Amy who did not enjoy her cat and thought it was dumb. One day, Rudy went into the road and got ran over, and then Amy told the dead cat that he is dumb and worthless. And when Jibanyan died, he became a yokai and was renamed Jibanyan. And Jibanyan did not know that Amy said those rude things to her, so he made a vow to get his revenge on a truck by beating it in a fight and to be reunited with his long lost precious owner named Amy. Jibanyan strength-wise has destroyed a yokai that is made of pure diamond and is named Dianyan. That is as big as Jibanyan, which is a normal sized cat. Dented a car's metal easily, knocked Massaface over, a building sized yokai. Jibanyan is also extremely durable. He has survived being hit by a car multiple times, was knocked into the atmosphere with little injuries, survived being punched into brick and concrete, and took Dianyan's perfect paws, which is his strongest feat. Because perfect paws have shown 
to destroy entire mountains and have been said to destroy entire mountains with ease. And Jabanyan flew so far away, came back in seconds with no injuries. That is pretty insane. But even though Jabanyan is a yokai, meaning he's already dead and can't be seen by normal means, Jabanyan can be f fainted during a fight and um, turn into a spirit, which is what happens when he gets defeated in a fight. He can come back with outside help, which is he needs to get healed by something. And who says other monsters can't see Jibanyan, like Pikachu? Jibanyan is extremely quick. He can move faster than the eye can see, while carrying Nate, a normal-sized 11-year-old. Also, yokai fight by themselves without assistance. They just fight. They don't take any orders from anyone. Jibanyan has a bit of attacks. He has sharp claws, fire, paws of fury, his ultimate move which is Pause of Fury, and Inspirement, which is different from humans and yokai. He can inspirit humans, which allows him to control them. He can do that to animals as well. But to monsters like yokais, Jibanyan's Inspirement um, either slows them down or completely paralyzes them. Jibanyan also has two skills, Adrenaline, which is completely useless in a 1v1, but super critical is his other one that really helps. Jibanyan gets increased strength after a really, really powerful hit. Jibanyan does have weaknesses. He is arrogant, lazy, acts tough. He is a klutz, eager to fight, quick to take action in dire moments, is incredibly naive, and does things without thinking of others. Even with all those weaknesses, Jibanyan is still a very powerful yokai. Now that the fighters are ready, let's see who would win in a fight. It is time for a super fight! Before I talk about who won and why, I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Animation Rewind. He helped me make this great animation for me for free of charge. He's such a good friend. Please subscribe to him, even though he is far more popular than me and is the one who got my channel popular. I kind of just want to give him, you know, this recognition, even though it doesn't really help. He's going to probably give this video recognition. But just thank you so much for making this. And, um, yeah. If you haven't subbed to him, please go sub to him, please. Please. So you're probably thinking how Jibanyan beat Pikachu in a fight. Well, I'll explain. Jibanyan is stronger, more durable, and does not rely on a trainer and has inspirement, which are the two biggest factors. Pikachu does a lot better with Ash and can use his bigger move pull, which Jibanyan does not have a big move pull. It's very small and pathetic, but Pikachu has a bigger one and but can't use it to its full potential without Ash. And inspirement can slow down Pikachu, which was his best strength. And... Considering that Jibanyan is almost as fast as Pikachu, not as fast, Pikachu's a little bit faster, but even then, Jibanyan can keep up pretty easily. So yeah, Jibanyan kind of wins, but it wasn't really a cakewalk, to be honest, because Jibanyan is a little cocky and arrogant, which could have led to his downfall, but the second Jibanyan took the situation seriously, it was all over for Pikachu for there, because Jibanyan is far far stronger in every way unfortunately because i prefer pikachu but if you want to see a rematch go click my straw poll down below it will show the rematches that you guys want to see it is well jibanyan versus pikachu with 
um, cosplay transformations or Nate and Jabanyan versus Ash and Pikachu, the one with trainers. Alright guys, let's see who is next. Well, I have to say a couple more things. Jabanyan versus Pikachu's rematch is confirmed. You don't need to vote for the straw poll to say, oh yes, but you just want to see what rematch you want to see. Um, see, you vote down there, and um, it is going to be episode 11, which will be the rematch of Super Fights, which is going to be the first episode of season 2. And also, Pikachu got burned out in the end. Haha, <laughs> get it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, but the winner is Jabanya. Now let's see who's next. Get ready for the next Super Fight. Versus Tracer versus Inkling coming soon to Super Fights. Also, the battle's a lot closer than it seems, so stay tuned. <laughs> 